What's up YouTube? So we are here on a uh, Blunt's barn wheel. You can see the barn wheel present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on the schedule now is a uh, school. Uh, 11 a.m. So there we go. So, service, brake pad. You go. Oh, see, see, see. Okay. So, this unit that So, jack stand, crocodile jack, assist. And then, Skoda. Automatic transmission, ito, guys. As you can see there. Uh, na service na natin dati ito last year but uh, today we're gonna service it again since it's already one year ago so 202 ang um, bonnet lots ng mga Skoda is uh, nasa kanyang uh, driver side na model na ngayon is nasa sa driver side talaga okay so dito ito yung unahin natin kasi yung puti uh, skuda din yan uh, front and rear brake pads so ito service na muna ito napalitan na natin ito ng front brake pads and rear brake pads dati so ngayon yung service natin so first thing first we gonna check the oil level so nasa minimum na siya no so, yeah. and then uh, of course, uh, since 202 pa ito, so ang timing belt is okay pa. And then yung current level is na in between maximum and minimum. Okay, that's good. And before we gonna do oh, down the drain plug, or oil plug, we gonna unlock first this one. Build it up. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, and then we are ready for uh, open up the oil drain, oil drain pad. so our usual usual practice you know, uh, naglalagay tayo ng marka doon sa kanyang oil drain plug para to avoid the uh, over torque kasi nga uh, delik delikit po itong mga trade na to as you can see here this is a very brand new engine 202 model Skoda so brand new from the factory guys and then the, the owner decide to keep her uh, car maintaining do the service and everything so usual before and after kailangan pagbaba natin ng oil babalik din siya sa kanyang uh, original like uh, torque no? that's the torque if you don't have torque range so meron tayong basihan sa kanyang uh, torque uh, or the tightness of the oil drain plug so and then before you uh, bring down the oil just open up the oil uh, filler cup so para magtuloy tuloy yung kanyang tagas ng oil no? so that's uh, before and after so after the oil uh, drain out the markings on the oil drain plug remain the same no? aligned and then the next, we're gonna remove the oil filter here. So we're gonna be changing the gasket on the oil filter. Okay. We're gonna do that. And then once it's done, we're gonna wipe it around. Clean as far as you can see on the inside. So, pull the so one way here, just pop it down, or before we can do that, just pop in the what is this, the gasket on the old filter first. You can see this one in here. Around. See 
to it that's on the like uh, the slot on the oil filter gasket should be in there like so you strap around with your fingers and then that's it and then here the oil filter should be sitting down just click click and once it's done then uh, since the design is uh, vertical like that so we just put oil on it first thing first we're gonna apply oil film of oil on the gasket side so it will not seize the next time we top it off Pagka hindi kasi nyo in-apply ng oil, uh, tagal siyang tagalin next time, no? Magsisis siya, so to avoid sis, I'm taking it out next time, just put a uh, film of oil. And then once you do that, you're gonna pour oil in there. So once you turn on the key, oil will comes out. By the way, on the system. Okay, so that's it. That's full of oil now. And then put it in into the system. It's full of oil now. So we'll just do the snug tight on the oil filter cup. Okay, and once you've done that. This is size 32 guys, 32 The oil for pickup And then You connect the, the Harness here And uh, be mindful of this one This is the connector of the secondary pump it Has to be plugged in Okay, make sure it's plugged in Otherwise It will affect on the dashboard Okay And then clean up here a little bit just remove the oil that is running to the system clean and then once you've done that then that's it so splash board secured or the engine tray secured and then once you've done that we'll come to the jungle so the before we're gonna change the fuel filter of course you do not have to jump from one job to another or you should be like uh, whatever you do you should finish it otherwise sometimes uh, makalimutan mo no? so like uh, top up oil in here so kung ano man yung inumpisahan natin tatapusin mo na natin para hindi tayo mag uh, the jump ng ibang uh, job order no? tapusin mo na natin yung job order bago tayo magsimula ng uh, another uh, thing uh, para hindi natin makalimutan o ma-bypass yung ibang uh, ginagawa no? so here first we're gonna clean and then we tap up the oil into the system the oil that we are using is uh, since this is a two zero two model the oil we're gonna using is a zero zero thirty uh, normally it's a kind of four point five liters So this is now 4.5 liters check the oil level 
to the lipstick here. So that's the maximum. That's the maximum. Okay. That's good. And then the next the next thing, we're gonna open up the oil filter. We're gonna change it. Okay. First, we're gonna crack it open by hand. Then, once we crack it open by hand, then we will use our impact gun. Okay, our guns. So, in opening, we're gonna be uh, doing the cross part so I'm gonna the cross pattern opening here We don't use uh, extension because if we use extension, the torque is gonna re reduce the power. Huh? So. one okay and then the next time uh, the next is you're gonna have to prepare the flathead screwdriver because you're gonna have to squash it in so here's the flathead screwdriver here we're gonna fry out the system here slowly. Oh, slowly. Slowly. So as you can see. I mean the fuel filter is really really tricky to remove it's getting hard I'm gonna need the I'm gonna need this one here just to fry out for this outside slowly slowly pull up Just make sure uh, it won't uh, make mess on the fuel from splashing and if just in case just wear your safety eyeglass so you will be protected from the splash fuel splash in case and then the last thing you do is you're gonna lay down lay, lay down like that because you have to like uh, drain the remaining fuel in here so we're gonna dry this one drain this one out and then we'll, we'll take it out once it's fully drained what we're gonna do we just clean up the mount here with the mounting and that's it
And so, so since this, that would be the last drop of the fuel that comes from the fuel filter, so we're gonna be changing. This is the new one here. The new one. So we're gonna change this. So the new one, this is fully sealed. If you see like uh, brownies, that means the fuel filter is dirty already. And then this is now the new one here. Before we're gonna drop it down, you have to kind of put some uh, fuel film in here on the gasket. and pop it in like so and then just squeeze it squeeze it down slowly drop it down make sure it's on the bull's eye between bolts holes aligned and then once it's aligned then you're gonna bring down the screws tight the screws by hand should be by hand Let's see my hand. And then the very tricky part is here on the inside. Just guide it with your finger like so. Tuck it by hand. And once it's in by hand. And you can use the guns to tighten them. So to tight, you need to do cross pattern as well. So press it. Cross pattern. This one here. Tight all around. And that's it. And once you've done that, you're gonna double check the tightness by hand. And so done. That's good.
Okay, that's it. So that's it. Fill filter done. Fill filter in. So now we're gonna start the engine. Spray her man again. Ya, nasa maksimum pa siya. So, ayos pa. Ayos. Mas maksimum level. Okay. Okay, kaya atapin ko yung pad ko. Nung isang tao mo lang. Ya, ya, ya. Tsaka malalaman mo yan pagka, kasi pagka bumaba yung uh, brake fluid, ibig sabihin, nung Luminipis yung kanang brake pad. Bata. Bata here is still on the maximum. Napalitan ba natin yan dati? Wala. Ito hindi napalitan eh. Ito sa likod. Ito pala dapat bumili ako, no? Oo. Mga modern na engine na hindi na kailangan i ano, i bleed no dahil yung kanyang tawag nito i start mo lang siya sa second position and then yung fuel pump na ang bahalang mag uh, bomba doon sa uh, oil filter I mean uh, fuel filter and then we gonna start the engine now so freeze the brake pedal and then start the ignition uh, beforehand we gonna open on the system so the fuel pump will uh, release or pressurize the fuel through the high pressure pump Stop. see so this type of model doesn't need to be uh, bleed out because the, it has the fuel pump on the rear that is the job is going to pressurize or pump fuel through the system that's it and then we're gonna check the wheel label now. As the oil is circulating through the system, we're gonna check the Level has to be on the middle once the oil is circulating. So, in here, yeah, it's on the middle. Okay. You know, start again, yeah. Can you start? Service light? Service light? No service light? Like a service interval, no? It should be. So there is no service light coming out. Ah, but we just reset the system, no? Just in case. Oh yeah, yeah yeah, four point five yeah, yeah yeah, four point five. I remember.
So we put on the second position. Put on escape. We just reset the oil service here. Scooter here. Okay. Auto reset. So we put major maintenance thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. All succeeded. Okay. So reset uh, system is already done on the system, like you know, on the computer reset. And then now we're gonna change the uh, air filter here. We're gonna use the same way. We're gonna use the guns. doesn't need to be like unnecessary to remove the uh, mass air pro sensor we just squash it out like that and then there we go that's the air filter we're gonna change now filter it's the new one see to it that it's sitting correctly rubber and then just put it down that's it how simple it is and then talking It's in. So guys, during the service, it's very advisable or very necessary to replace the air filter as well because this is, if it is dirty, then the engine is very very hardly to breathe, no? like a suction air. 
It's very very important to have the equal mixture of the gas and air mixture on the system. So isa din itong mataas na uh, fuel consumption if the oil filter, I mean uh, air filter is dirty. Then you can have also the high fuel consumption because of air filter dirty. So has to be changed as well. Sorry, it is. So that's it.